Hey guys, I'm here today to show you how to use the tool ext4 magic to restore files from a deleted ext4 partition. In my situation, this worked even when test stick and photo rask uh, weren't quite up to the task. Uh, test disk basically said, yep, they're deleted, good luck with that. And I had some things like browser profiles and some delicate symbolic links and various other things that needed to be restored that uh, photo rec uh, just couldn't deal with. So first off, I want to give a quick mention that if you have accidentally deleted files, stop using the hard drive immediately. If the deleted file is on your computer, just turn your computer off right now. Unplug it. Uh, then get a friend's help getting a live CD, and uh, you'll want to continue this tutorial from the live CD. Right now, my system is running off its primary hard drive, a 1TB Western Digital, whereas the deleted files are on a 3TB Hitachi. Um, the 3 Hitachi is not active. If you run a system with that has deleted files on it, um, basically, they're going to get broken eventually. Uh, your odds of it working are going to keep dropping as time goes on. Alright, now that said, my storage device is not mounted, uh, that means we're in the clear to start. Now on my system, this drive is um, dev sdb with one partition, sdb1, because it's a secondary hard drive. But uh, if you're doing this from a live DVD or USB, it'll probably be sda, since you're probably recovering files off your main hard drive. Um, if you're unsure, just pause the video, take 20 seconds right now, open up gparted, and just look around, and it'll show you which hard drive to switch. Alright, now, ext4 magic is available in the regular Ubuntu Xenio repos, uh, Mint 18 as well, so you can just install it. Alright, now we're going to begin with the file recovery. You're going to want to use uh, dump e2fs like so to figure out your file system's block size. sdb1 there because that's what I determined it might be different for you. Now, if you look for block size, block size, block size, as you can see on mine it's 4096, uh, you're going to want to remember that. Pretty easy, it'll probably be 4096 but your drive might be different. Next you're going to want to find the inodes that have your lost folders on them. Inodes are like where, um, inodes are basically how your folders are stored on the hard drive. Uh, you need to know the exact folder names for this though. If you don't remember them, test disk can actually help you with that, uh, but that's beyond the scope of this video for today. Um, so basically you need to know the exact uh, folder names. We're going to try to save my pictures folder. I've saved a couple others, but I haven't uh, saved this one yet. So uh, we're going to see how this goes. Uh, I had it stored on the root, the very top folder of my storage drive. So what we're going to do is uh, sudo ext4 magic dev sdb1 um, dash s for the block size, 4096, um, dash j to tell it to print out the superblock information, and then dash f, and you're going to need to put the path to your folder. Um, in my case, this is just one single word. Yours is probably not going to be that simple. It would probably be something like home slash jill slash pictures. Um, you'll need to figure that out with test disk. So we're going to see what this does. Probably take a couple of moments. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Now, as you can see, there's a bunch of uh, of pictures. You know, these are these are clearly pictures. Now, find all your pictures. See that those go to this uh, inode. But as I can see here, uh, there are more pictures, and all these go to a different inode. Um, so in this case, I have two inodes I'm going to need to save. Uh, one, three, five, something, something. And this one, it goes to the ones below it, 135 something else. Um, we'll start out with that first one, the top one. What we're going to want to do is um, ext4 magic. You're going to need to set your block size again, but this time we're going to use the R flag to tell it to recover a whole folder. We're going to use a capital I, that's capital I, and a capital R. We're going to use a capital I to tell it which blocks to save, which I know to save. 
um, then we're going to use D pictures to tell it to put it in my uh, pictures folder. Now let's see how this goes actually. I'm interested. <coughs> I don't know why it takes so long, but... Hey, 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 it looks like it's, uh, it's working. Uh, I can't access these right now because I'm running the tool as admin, so it's making the pictures only admin accessible. Uh, we'll deal with that. <laughs> okay. Let's see. And hey, it looks like it's working. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is awesome. Alright, so now we're going to want to, now that we saved that uh, inode, we're going to want to uh, find that other inode and save it. All right, second inode. And uh, hey, I didn't realize it was going to be this easy. <laughs> Just kidding, I did. I'd done it before, but uh, as soon as this is finished, um, ext4 magic is like a fork of another tool called undelete, uh, ext undelete, which nearly got my files, but uh, it didn't quite work. But uh, I think this is maybe made by the guys who uh, made Fedora. You'll have to look it up. It's a it's a great tool, man. It just uh, saved my life. I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah, man. This is just it's the handiest thing. Maybe it'll help for you. Uh, I still got a couple other. Uh, files that I'll need to anyway yeah so glad this is working One three five two six six three zero five. It looks like it saved the same files both times. Okay, now these files over here are probably corrupted and lost, so uh, you might not recover everything. You know, it's a uh, it's so long shot, and it looks like both those inodes were the same, which is why I got the same um the same results each time. But anyway, that should be uh all my files. Uh, one last thing is you're just going to want to um. Change, uh, change the files back to being owned by you. Uh, so I'm going to use the R flag for it to go recursively. The B flag, uh, just in case. Games, games, you're going to want to replace that with your own username, like. I don't know. And that will, uh, that'll change everything back to being owned by you as it should be. Um, anyway, I hope this uh, I hope this video helps some people, and uh, I hope you have good luck with uh, restoring your files. Uh, see y'all later.